guys, how's it going? It's Height here, and we're back with a brand new episode of Minecraft Stoneblock version 3.0. And in the last episode, we started setting up a little base in the back there for our create stuff. And I've done a little bit of remodeling back there. Nothing too crazy just yet, but let me just show you where we're at. It took me a while. I'm trying to still figure out the best way to set a little starter factory up back here. But what I've done is this cobblestone generator back here is generating cobblestone, putting it on this conveyor belt, which is then getting put into a series of auto hammers. And these things are going to hopefully start building up a supply of materials so that when we need to sieve them or whatever we need to do with them, I can just come in here, grab whatever one I need, and we'll be good to go. So we're going to have all of the base resource things here. I did set up a few little spots here just in case I want to wash, you know, certain things or cook certain things. I guess I don't really need this one anymore. Yeah, I don't really need... Oh, I need that there. The lava is going to end up disappearing on me. So I don't need this anymore because I've got this system over here for washing. Anything I want to wash, I can just put in here and it just washes the whole system. So that is perfect. I got an extra mill here for making flour so that we can make bread. It's not the best food, but it's it's decent starter food. And I mean, that's pretty much it. So I can cook food here whenever I want like so. I can wash stuff over here whenever I want by putting it in that chest. And then other than that, this whole system is basically just hanging out. I take gravel out of here. I put it in there. I can't, I can't feed a hammer into that thing directly. Actually, I say that and I might be able to hang on. Can I make another hammer? Let's see. I got this diamond hammer here. I ran out of redstone, so I couldn't make the last one I was going to make. We're still out of redstone. Okay. I think I should have some in my washing plant over here. Oh, we don't have very much. We need to wash more dust. Dust, I think, is where we get the redstone. So let's get this going. Put that in there. And that's going to start hopefully making us redstone. While that's happening, I'm going to go see if I can make a another hammer. There we go. So we got that extra hammer. Let's get the redstone out of my pocket. Now, I don't know if this is actually going to output into there. It would be nice if it would. I don't think it will. So that is not the best. Although, what if, hear me out. What if I put the funnel on the side? I don't even know if this is going to work, but let's just see. I put this on there. I'll put, can I stick that on there? Is that going to work? That part is working. Okay, this looks like it's working now. Which is great. Because that cobblestone generator should be able to feed both of these things. Without any problem. Yeah, that looks like it's going to work out really nice. So this thing should always have gravel going into it now. Which is perfect. Cobblestone I don't really need in my inventory. And I can't really put it in there. I guess I could just get rid of it. There we go. Okay. So that's where we're at right now. Things are looking pretty good. What I want to do today is start... Well, I wanted to start working on a storage. But now I don't even know if we really need it. You know? I don't know if we really need it just yet. I've got this diamond chest that I got from one of my quests. It's, uh, it's doing pretty good. So I think what I want to do, because I need to start expanding, and it's a huge pain in the butt to dig stone just nonstop. Vein miner does not work on stone. At least not that I've noticed. Haven't been able to get it to work. So what I want to do is start getting some tinker stuff going. 
Can I break these with this? No. I want to get some tinker stuff going just so that I can make a hammer and hopefully make digging a little bit nicer because right now digging sucks. So I'm just going to set up a little spot here in the corner. And I really want to set up a tinker table. We do have some gravel now, finally. Let me just get some more of these. We're going to need tons of belts, I'm sure, so we can just cook these up. There we go. And I guess we got to start making grout. Which... Grout, grout, grout. I believe we are missing everything. We need gravel. We need sand. Sand we can get from here. Gravel we might not be able to get right now. That maybe is a problem. Do I have any gravel? I might have to make some just to... Just to get things going until that hammer system backs up. Uh, uh oh, I don't know if we have any gravel right now. I should take some of this stuff to the other side. Aha! We have some gravel. Okay, perfect. Let's use that. Oh, I do have a little chicken farm going. I started throwing all my eggs in a pit. And we're... We got chickens. So... I'm gonna just try and keep them down here for now. There you go, little buddies. And eventually, I'm probably gonna have to kill them or something, but for now, I'm just gonna keep growing them over there. We'll see how that works. Now, what was I doing? Making grout. Let's get all of this stuff put away, put away, put away. I should have thrown that egg out while I was over there. Wait a minute. There's two recipes? One clay makes two grout or one clay makes eight grout oh one clay block it's the same it's the same recipe it's four times as much of everything to get four times as much stuff so this is just it'll just save us a step okay now i got this stuff do we have to cook it let's see tinker T tinker uh smelter Seared stone. And that's what we're looking for, I think. And we have to cook seared co cobble stone? Wait, what? Why did I make this grout? I thought we needed grout for something. Here we go. Seared bricks. Yes, we cook the grout and we make the seared bricks. Not a problem. Let's get this going. Okay, so now we got the seared bricks. We should be able to make some... I probably don't want to use all of these. Let's just make a few. That will get us started. And I don't know exactly how... Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Um, hmm... That's not the best. I have no stone. I forgot we had a building underneath... So let me just smelt some stone up so we can patch that. And I'm going to have to keep the smelter up, which is a little bit annoying. But whatever. It's fine for now. We're going to have to make a whole new base at some point. Once I have better ways to dig and stuff, it won't be so bad. Just digging this. I used mostly pickaxes, stone pickaxes. And then I realized, why am I doing this when I have diamonds? So I started making diamond picks. But I mean, it is a slow dig. All right, so let's fill this up. Get these stone seared stone. And I want this up a little bit, I suppose. So we'll just make it here. I think that's fine. Just to get us started. We don't need a whole ton of space in here. All right, and then because I ran out already, I'm going to have to take some of this stuff back. Now we're going to need a controller and uh, what else do we need? Smelter. First smelter, you place above a tank or heater. Fuel tank, we're going to need one of those. So let's make one of those. And we're going to need, well, we're going to need a casting basin. We're probably going to want one of these. 
Okay. And we're gonna want a drain, a shoot. Smeltery item input and output. I've never seen that before. A shoot. Seared duct. Filter smeltery fluid input and output using copper cans or buckets. Seared drain smeltery fluid input and output. Okay, so we're gonna want one of those. Wait, we can't? C copper. We're gonna have to get some copper. I think I have some in this chest over here. I should just bring it over. There it is. I may as well bring this. We may as well bring the raw gold over too. We can smelt it down. Okay. And then I think we might want two of these things. The seared drain. Ah, we can just make one for now. Let's make one. And we're gonna need a faucet. That'll get us started. I feel like I'm still missing, yeah, the controller part. Brain of the smeltery. Why can't I make this? Oh. Wait, what? We have to make it? This is new. How do we get st stuff in there? I guess we probably need this. A shoot. I'm not sure. Okay, let's see how this works. If I put the tank somewhere where we can actually access it for now. Let me get my pickaxe. We'll put the tank over here. Okay, and then we're going to want the drain as well. This is going to be how we take stuff out of here. Okay, then we're going to need a faucet okay and then something to put things in i don't really know are we gonna be able to interact with this thing i don't know i don't know if this thing will allow us to interact with it or not not really so maybe i need a hopper to to put things in i've never i've never done this before so let's see put that there i don't know if this is actually gonna work or not but we'll see how that works okay what else did i make i made this thing which we're gonna want here and we can put another one uh, this one can go over here oh not quite like that like that okay so that should work uh is that it I think that's all we need for now. I need to put lava in and I need to get items in somehow. And then we're just going to have to see how this works. I'm going to have to put one of these in here. And what did it take? Four copper ingots. One, two, three, four. Okay, now I need to make one of those lava machines and get some lava. Okay, thing is full. This does not seem to be working. Can you just throw things into here? Mm, I don't think so. Hang on, what else is there? Is there some other kind of controller? Alloy kiln? A duct? No. I think we want this chute. I just don't know how to use it. Okay, so it sounds like we have to make one of these heaters because that's what the quest book is telling us to do. Make a melter. Make a heater. Okay. And then the melter is the multi-block that allows you to melt metals into fluids. Place the seared heater. Provide it with solid fuel. Then place the seared melter on top. Place the seared heater. Okay. Place the seared melter on top. 
Okay, and then we're supposed to put solid fuel in here. I've got coal. Let's stick some coal in here. And then what? Do I put the ingots in here? Oh. Okay. There's our four ingots. Now, can I take this? And put it... I don't know if this is actually going to work. Can I put this on here? Let me see. Does this work? It looks like it will. Okay. Now we've got the controller. Is this all we needed? Let's see. Can I use this now? Ah, there we go. Okay. I, I get it. Why is that like that? Why is that yellow? Why is it... Why is it... Yellow? What's going on? Why is it doing that? That's so strange. Okay. I... Need one more block, which I'm not gonna have. Um, how... Can I make one more? I think I can. Yeah, we can make one more just to finish that off. And we'll have a two-tiered... We'll have a two-tiered smelter here. There we go. Okay. We got some of that going. Now, to actually make a ingot... I think I need to put the gold in here. Or at least one piece of it. And then we're going to have to make a mold to make ingots. So, let's see here. Put that there. Once that's melted, I can sw switch it around and we'll be able to make a molten nuggets. Oh, we're making rose gold. Interesting. What do we use rose gold for? I, I don't know. Rose gold. Silky cloth. Rose gold plate. I mean, it doesn't look like it's used for that much so I might have just made a mistake I gotta get that copper out of there though four ingots and three nuggets you know what I can just break it out let's take this stuff we don't need it anymore although it is nice that this thing runs on solid fuel so I don't have to keep making lava all the time anyway let's just start dumping this stuff out I don't care Get out of there. Okay. So that should be that. Let's put another piece of gold in here. That should allow us to make an ingot. I hope we can make the mold here. And then to start making the actual hammer. Tinker. Uh, hang on. We need the part builder. Oh, and we need blank parts, right? The molds or whatever the heck they're called. Let's get that going. Is it one or two? One. Okay, great. I'm also going to need more wood soon. We're running dangerously low on wood. And I really don't want to do that right now, so I'm holding off as long as I can, but... It's not looking good. Okay, so we've got a whole bunch of these patterns. I think this is what we're going to need, or I hope it is. Anyway, let's get that going. And then to make a hammer... What do we need to make a hammer? We can't even make a hammer? Oh, we have to upgrade this t table, don't we? Uh, Tinker Station. Tinker. Tinker Station. Can we upgrade this? Tinker's Anvil. Block of Steel. Is it just blocks of anything? Can I use iron? Seared bricks, a tinker station. Okay, let's see if I can do this. I need four seared bricks, a tinker station. And I can't actually make any more seared bricks. Darn it, I need I need more I need more stuff. Okay, let's let's get started with the seared bricks first. And then we'll work from that point. 
Seared bricks. All right, let's get this going. We need four of these, I think. And then what did we need? Tinker anvil. We need the tinker station, which we have, and then some blocks of hopefully anything. So let's see. One, two, three. Hopefully that'll get us what we're looking for. No. It will not. Is that gold blocks? Accepts the following. Brass, Electrum, Invar. I think we can make some of this stuff. Lumium, Signalum, Glowstone. I think... Invar... Oh, Rose Gold. We can already make. We know how to do that. I think Invar, though, is just... Let's see. Isn't it just Iron and... Where's the smelter? Iron and zinc? Can I not make this somehow? Here we go. Molten invar. Where does it tell me how to actually make it? Melting. Alloying. Nickel. Two parts iron to one part nickel. Okay, let's do that. Oh, I don't have nickel. I have zinc. Is that the same thing? Can we use that? I don't know if it's the same thing. Zinc and copper makes brass, and I think brass is one of the things that works. So let's use zinc and copper instead. And we can start making brass. We need three blocks of this stuff. And then we should be good to go. Let me put this away. Can I see that copper? No. It only looks at one of these inventories, so I gotta not use that wooden chest. Okay, we got two more blocks in here. Perfect, that's what we want. And I may as well... Why are these not the same? Six nuggets, one ingot. I thought I was putting the same amount of each of these in here, but maybe I wasn't. Something's all messed up. Anyway, there is our three blocks of brass. Then we should be able to finally make that tinker table, get the hammer going. And that should allow me to actually start being able to dig properly. Or more efficiently. So let's get this. Come on. Please work. Tinker anvil. Put this in here. Okay. Now we've got the anvil. And let's see. To make a hammer. We need two of those faces. A hammer and a tough rod. Is that what that is? Tough handle. I think that's the one. That looks right. So let's make... Tough handle. Pattern costs three. I don't have enough stone. There we go. That'll help. I'm also going to need a chest to store all my patterns. Isn't there a pattern... Pattern storage... Heart Builder, Tinker Station. I thought there was a pattern storage. Is it this? The Tinker Chest? Lapis, Pattern, Trap Chest, Wood. Let me try that. Let me try making one of those. Alright, there we go. I don't know if this is actually what we want. It sure looks good though, doesn't it? Okay, so now let's put those in there. We can make a tone handle. We're gonna have to make patterns for all this. Large plate and the hammerhead. Okay, and then we're going to want to make sure this thing is... Actually, I think brass will work for the casings, won't it? I think it will. Brass. Uh, maybe it won't. Okay, well, then let's just take it back out, shall we? Okay, so there we go. Let's make some of these. Can I just stick these in here as well? Perfect. We'll take that, put that in here, put that in there. Get this going. Now, I'm not sure what I want to make these out of. I need something that's really fast. Because, man, I hate mining. I know, playing Minecraft and hating mining, right? Okay, let's put these away. And we're going to have to start considering what to make the hammer out of. 
Make a smeltery. We already did this. Random puny smelting. Smelting and casting guidebook for beginners. Convert molten metals back into items you need to use a casting faucet and a casting table. To choose the form of the metal we'll take. Okay. I mean, this is all fine. Oh, an ender chest. Dang. Smeltery controller. Seared tank. We already did all this. Seared block. Ooh, but we want this book. I think we want this book because it will tell us... It will tell us all of the good stuff. I'm pretty sure. I don't think this book here... Puny smelting. Tier 2 materials. Upgrades. Further reading. Slotless modifier. I don't know if this thing will tell me all of the different alloys and what they're good for or not. Oh my god, there's so much stuff in this game now. Channels? That is so cool. No way. We can make like a dwarven fortress. Not to be confused with dwarf fortress, which we're also playing on this channel. Okay, casting sand casts. Oh, interesting. Okay, I didn't realize we could do that. Sand. Automation. Oh, here we go. Iron hammer. We're getting into some stuff. Okay, we're getting into a little bit of stuff here. So the fastest hammer that this book has in it is the seared stone hammer with a mining speed of 6.5. Which is not bad. And it should be pretty easy to make. I think we can make... Can we make... Seared... Seared stone in here? I think it's just cobblestone, isn't it? Melting? Yeah, I think we just have to melt stone. And we can make some pretty good tools out of that. 6.5 mining speed seems pretty good. It might not be, but we can try it. See what happens. Okay, well, let's try it. My first my first uh, hammer might not be the best hammer, but wait, where did I get these boots from? Random reward? I wasn't even paying attention. It must have been a random reward. Let's make some room in my inventory really quick. Because we're going to need a lot of stuff here. So we'll put the hammer down. Wait, what? Oh, there we go. All right, we'll get the hammer going. And then I don't know if I want to make the whole thing out of seared stone or just the hammer part. It might make more sense to make the other part out of something else. All right, so I decided to just go ahead and make the whole thing out of seared bricks for now. It might not be the best idea, but whatever. At least we'll have a hammer. It'll be a start for now. We can play around with the Tinker stuff a little bit more in the future. I'm not sure exactly what I want to make this out of yet, but I do know I need something that's not a diamond pickaxe because it's just... It's so slow, so let's just get this working here and make sure- Oh, gosh. I maybe went a little bit overboard with the seared stone. But that's okay. This should be the last piece we need. And then we can make our pickaxe. I do probably want to add diamond to it. And... What else do I want to do? Let me see here. Hammer... We want this, 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 and this. Searing tool mines meltable blocks such as metal ore faster. Okay. Why does this say mining speed of 2.8? The book said 6.5. What's going on there? Huh? Plus 11 searing speed. 
Maybe this is not very good. Whatever. We've done it. It's done. The deed is done. So now, if I put redstone on here, will it make it faster? I also want to put a diamond. Do I have diamond? Let's get a diamond on there. I think that'll be useful. Mining speed up to 3.6. Okay, and then... Well... 4.5. I don't know. Let's go try it. Let's see how this works. Is this going to be okay? Oh, it's much better. Oh, it's much better. I'm happy with this for now. I'm very happy with this. Things were just not working for me. I was not okay with how slow things were. But this... Oh, yes. Oh, that feels good. We're going to be able to... We're going to be able to grow now. Yep, expand. I can feel an expansion in the future. Oh, this is good. Oh, I'm so happy. Okay, great. Guys, I think we are going to wrap this episode up there. Now that we got the Tinker stuff, I can make some rooms. I can try to lay out some new areas and then I don't know exactly what we're going to work on next let me see let me, I'm gonna put a couple torches down make sure nothing spawns in here and then let's take a look at the quests really quickly okay we've done this maybe it's time to get some soul sand going We've got the mob soul, and then I think once we get one soul sand, we can make the campfire. The campfire with this guy, and then that should allow us to turn more sand into soul sand. So we'll have infinite of that. That will be useful. And what else do we want to do? I think that's going to be mostly it for here. I don't know if we can actually start the crushing wheel yet. We need to make a whole bunch of those, and I forget what we needed. Electron tubes. Electron tubes takes polish rose quartz. Actually, we could start doing this. We need sandpaper, diamond grit. Paper and diamond dust. Okay, we can't do that. No, we can't do that right now. But we could definitely just make sandpaper. Paper and sand. That That's easy enough to do. Okay, so maybe in the next episode then, we actually start working towards this crushing wheel. That sounds pretty cool to me. I like it. Once we have the crushing wheel... I guess we could actually start making some of these other items as well, but the mechanical crafter is where we're going to have to start. Engineer goggles. What do these things even do? Well-worn engineer goggles will show you details about various machines. I know I've used them before. I just haven't used them in a while. We also have to get some mechanical harvesting going. I would like to get a farm set up. An automated farm set up so I don't have to keep farming by hand all the time. But we'll see. Drop me a comment. Let me know what you guys are thinking in the comments below. Oh, oh no. Oh, well, we got a soul mob for him, so that's okay. Anyway, guys, I hope you were liking the series so far. If you are, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up on this video. Subscribe to my channel if you're new here, and I will see you next time.